How's it going you guys? New Age here with another showdown ladder in session and today we're up in the gen 7 OU as usual. Uh, I want to make a quick note just to say I'm not going to be doing gen 7 OU forever but I am enjoying it before Pokebank is actually released because it's kind of nice just to have a meta where it's just the Alolan Pokemon and whatever's in that Pokedex. It's kind of cool just to you know tone it down a bit for once and not have to worry about like all 800 pokemon you know so i'm kind of just enjoying it for now while i can and then once pokebank comes out and it's like officially released and stuff i'll move on to some uh what would be the standard gen 7 i guess with all of the pokemon but for now we're gonna show here today we're using a just kind of a random team uh, with a Mega Metagross. I've been, I've also been using Mega Metagross a lot, and I want to try using some different stuff, um, or different Megas at least. So I'll probably stray away from Metagross for a while after this. Uh, but it has a SD Mimikyu with Ghost DMZ, uh, which is interesting. I, I don't know. Lately, I've been using uh, Jolly Mimikyu and just like the normal, normal set and not like life orb or anything and it seems really weak um i think i would actually like to run adamant more often but since this one has the ghost dmz i can at least catch something with a really strong ghost move if it wants to switch in or anything like that so we'll give this a shot see if it's any better um then we have standard specs magnezone as well as uh sash stealth rocks mammoth swine uh, one of the things that I was really interested about with this team is it has a sub dragon dance uh, Gyarados, which is not bad. Uh, Ice Fang is a little weird, but I guess it's it's better than Bounce at the moment. I I don't even know if it can get Bounce. I'm sure it can, but whatever. And then also has a Scarf Hydreigon, which I'm looking forward to using. Just trying to see how good it actually is. Uh, it might be completely horrible, just with all the tapus running around and everything. But with the Scarf, it might do somewhat decent. Also, I don't know how I feel about Focus Blast. I think I want to put Flash Cannon. I don't want to have nothing to hit um, Tapu Lele, because already, like, I don't know. It doesn't look good. I mean, I can go Dark Pulse, but we'll try, we'll try it with Flash Cannon over Focus Blast for now, if you can learn that. Yep. All right, so let's find a game. All right, we got a game with a Necrozma, as well as Mamoswine of its own. Uh, this team is scary. Magnezone, I feel, can definitely put in some work here. Um, I think I want to do what I've been doing when I have a Metagross on my team and I see Mamoswine, I just lead uh, Metagross. Because we are faster and we force it in like a checkmate position, basically, for whatever it wants to do. If he wants to go for rocks, as he does while I get the attack raise. Um, and I'm just gonna blow punch here. Like, if he wants to switch into Toxapex, okay. I actually don't. I either have Zen Headbutt or Earthquake. I have to have one of the two. Okay. I will take Zen Headbutt. I mean, he doesn't have a Psychic Immunity on his team, so. Switch out if you want. Yep, there's the Scissor. 34%, not bad. Uh, I actually wanna check how much scissor takes from hammer arm a plus one because i mean honestly my thing is i don't know what it wants to do back to me i don't think it can do anything back to me let's assume he is bulky sd and we're plus one uh plus one hammer arm can do about half actually 44 to 53 is not quite there yet. I'm actually gonna go for a Meteor Mash for now. Just to get off the damage and then potentially another attack boost. And it's just gonna U-turn, like, I'm I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> I could have gotten another attack raise right there. Like, I, had, I really had no reason to switch out. Because even if he did SD, then he was in range of Hammer Arm after that. So he's gonna go out into the Tapu Bulu. Uh, we outspeed this as well, unless it's Scarfed. Which I can assume is the only reason why he would go into this. But I think I want to go for Meteor Mash anyways. Yeah, he has Scarf, but that's not knocking me out. Wait, he's Life Orb? Why was he faster than me? Wait, whoa, 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 what? 
Oh, recoil, my bad. I was like, what? There's no way. Not possible. Since he's Scarf Bulu, though, I don't think he's Scarf Tapu Lele, which if he's not, Metagross outspeeds. And we might... <laughs> it's looking like we could potentially sweep his team here. Alright, there's no way you're Scarf Tapu Lele then, too. That doesn't make sense. I mean, it... It's not like it doesn't make sense, but... Two Scarfers is like, whatever. It could be. I'm not denying it, but I... My thing was that I doubt it. And, uh, this, this man, <laughs> this man just got swept by Metagross, by lead Metagross. See, this is why I lead Metagross against Mamoswine, because for whatever reason, they're like, I'm just going to Stealth Rock, even though this thing brings me down to my Sash and has priority and is faster than me. But, like, why do they just, I don't know. It, the thing is, Metagross always beats Mamoswine, because... If it's Sashed, then it's Jolly, and Jolly doesn't knock me out with Earthquake. And if it's Life Orb, Adamant, or Life Orb, Jolly, I'm faster than it, and it dies to Meteor Mash then. So, it's basically... Metagross is really good against Lead Mamoswine, as weird as that sounds. But anyways, let's get another game. So we didn't really get to do anything with the team there. <laughs> we just led Metagross and won. Uh, but this is an interesting team, a Sand team. I don't know how well I'll do against that. I actually want to lead Gyarados if I can. Uh, if he wants to try and get up rocks or something. Granted, I would like rocks, but I'd also like to just lead Gyarados. I really would. Because I can sub against a potential like Toxic. Yeah, I can't really do anything against Gastrodon unless I get really high, I'm sure. Uh, let me see. Gyarados, Sub Dragon Dance versus Gastrodon. Let's say you're physically defensive. How much does Ice Fang do? Plus, oh my gosh. Yeah, plus six. <laughs> okay. Well, plus four is like a solid two hit KO, which I don't even think I need to get to plus four. Plus three, I could probably wear him down just fine. But I'm going to go for sub. Yeah, as he's just going to go out into Stoutland here. Um, he will be faster and he will be able to break my sub. So I think I'll just go for a waterfall get off damage. I don't know if he wants to go for a turn or for... Well, actually, are they banded? They're not... Oh, he's... Uh, He's Life Orb, okay. So he can switch up his moves here. Uh, the thing is, I don't know what Stoutland gets. I actually want to look it up. Like what he gets pre-bank. Because I really want to know. If he can even go for like Wild Charge. Uh, let me see, that was my phone. He gets Thunder Fang. I'm, I'm just gonna... Yeah, I saw Wild Charge. Okay. Well, never mind then. Uh, he doesn't get Superpower, but... He does get... Ac oh, he's not all out pummeling anyways. What is the fighting move that he gets access to? Reversal? Yeah, okay. So he doesn't actually have a good fighting move. Um, so I'm thinking about going into Magnezone. I'm thinking about it. Is Magnazona good? He has so many ground Pokemon though. I have Flash Cannon though. I'm gonna go Magnazone. Unless he goes for like Earthquake or something. He actually went for Wild Charge there. Okay. I was gonna go Mamoswine. Um, and we can just Flash Cannon here. Lucky I don't got that HP, HP Grass, you know? Uh, let's see. This is a weird switch for us. Uh, can definitely go Hydreigon. I'll give that a shot. That's the only thing I don't mind getting burned, is he goes for Toxic, which... Eh, I don't know how much that actually matters, but... I think here... Uh, I think I want to go for U-Turn here, actually. As he decides to stay in, I don't know if he's going to go for Toxic again. What is he trying to do here? 
Like, would he scald me? Also, why does this guy keep leaving and joining? It's scaring me. I don't really have anything for Gastrodon either, which is a problem. Like, I could have just gone for Dark Pulse there. But I guess he's, I guess he's cool with that. Um, I don't like my Magnezone getting weakened, but Magnezone doesn't do too much this game. I'm just gonna go back into Magnezone if he wants to like Toxic again. Yeah. And then here, I want to go out to Gyarados if I can on maybe an Earth Power. What I would hope to be an Earth Power or Earthquake, that works too. And then we can sub up on this thing again. And that means that if Stoutland wants to come in, we can beat it. As he goes Garchomp, we do have Ice Fang. And if he's offensive, I don't know if he'll live this. I don't want to risk him being Scarfed, though. Sand Veil? I don't think he would be Scarfed, but I'm going to Ice Fang. Anyways, as he goes for Iron Head and does not break my sub. And Ice Fang brings him down to a clean nothing, and this dude forfeits. Okay, why are people forfeiting so much? Gyarados put in work against this team though. Like he got up a sub on a lot of things, including Mandibuzz too. And I mean, I guess Gigalith because I think the Sand team ones only run like Toxic, Stealth, Rock, Earthquake, and like Protect or something. That's what I've seen a lot anyways, is like a common Gigalith set. But yeah, let's find another game. Alright, we have a game against the Rain team now. I don't know how well this team does against Rain. Magnezone should be able to do pretty decent, but Kingdra will be an issue uh, for sure. Like, Kingdra gets a kill anytime it comes in for the most part. Uh, but let's see what we could do. I don't know if he wants to lead Pelipper or what. I also don't know if I want to get up rocks right away. I feel like it would help. I think he'd have to switch a lot, wouldn't he? And I don't know what else Mamoswine does otherwise. As much as I'd love to just leave Gyarados and start Dragon Dancing. Especially in the rain. That'd be strong. He doesn't have a uh, immunity either. And I don't think Gyarados sets up on anything else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave Gyarados and see what happens as he leaves Pelber. Um, and I'm gonna sub right away. Because, like, if he switches, I get to go for, like, a boosted waterfall. Yeah, as he's just going to U-turn. Crits me! Wow. <laughs> uh, so, let's see what he wants to do here. He goes down to Tapu Koko. I mean, I could hit this thing for some damage. Unless he just goes for Volt Switch. In which case... I'm curious, actually. I'd say if he has a Lonin Raichu against my Gyarados at plus one. I wanna say if he Volt Switched into that, yeah. And I'm I'm would like to assume I outspeed it. I'm gonna Dragon Dance expecting uh, he actually goes for Dazzling Gleam. Do I knock out Tapu Koko? Plus one, yep, I do. Oh Gyarados! Putting in the work! Unless you're Scarf, I outspeed you and knock you out. I'm gonna go for it. He is Scarf, but he... I mean, I didn't know he was Scarf, so I don't know why he went for Psychic. Yeah. Oh, hello? Yeah, like, my okay. My thing with this play was... Me going, me going for Waterfall over switching out was, for one, I didn't know he was Scarf. Two, he didn't have to be Scarf. And three... Gyarados didn't really do anything. I mean, it could have, but I didn't need it to. Like, he could have Ice Fang, Tapu Bulu, it could have gotten off a strong Waterfall on Scizor. But other than that, I didn't need Gyarados for that. I could have used, like, Magnezone to beat Scizor and, like, Metagross to beat Tapu Bulu. So I was okay with risking it there because it already took out, like, two of the biggest threats uh, other than Kingdra, which I still didn't even know how I was going to deal with, but... That, uh, that worked out well for us. I guess this team is good at making people forfeit. We're almost at 1,700 on the ladder. That's crazy. I've never been this high. <laughs> Let's get another game. 
I guess the higher ladder is just full of people who are like, if I misplay, then I forfeit. I've actually played this team before. I don't know if it was the same guy. But I think I played this while I was testing one of the teams and I got absolutely wrecked. Hydragon, I think, puts in work in this game. Kind of. I don't know, maybe it can. Maybe not. Who knows? Maybe not with the uh, Golisopod. I don't know what he's leading either. I have no idea. I feel like Gyarados is a solid lead for this team. He can intimidate most of his physical mons, as he actually leads Greninja. Okay. Is my set still on there? Alright, let's assume he's uh, Choice Specs. Hmm. Choice Specs versus my Gyarados. I, mm. Hydro Pump does a lot, but I mean, I can't really do anything to him. I can try and sub. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right play, though. I really don't have a switch for this thing either. I'm gonna sub. Yeah, he's gonna your turn. Cool. That's what I was expecting you would do because. Granted, Dark Pulse can 2 KO me. I don't think he felt that... Like, I didn't feel that either. That it was the right time to go for a play like that. I actually wish I had Earthquake on the scare this right about now. Never mind, he goes into this. Um, I'm gonna Dragon Dance. For one, I don't even know if he can break my sub. Two, you're gonna switch again. What if I, if I had Earthquake, I'd sweep him right now. Waterfall has a chance to knock him out, actually. Uh, plus one. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, he's gonna double. In a Golisopod, okay. I mean, that has, yeah, like, Golisopod is the Pokemon I'm doing nothing to. Oh, that's unfortunate. Golisopod. See, this is where I wish I had Bounce. Oh, my gosh. And that's to, like, no spread. Why... Why are my numbers not being typed? Uh, whatever. Oh, that's fine. So, I was at plus one, went for waterfall, it did zero. Let's see. What, what is wrong with this guy? 17%? <laughs> this is how much I did to him? I don't even get that damage because max defense, like, the damage doesn't add up. I feel like they don't have these Pokemon in here, right? Um, I'm just going to Dragon Dance again. He can first impression. That doesn't even break my sub. But, uh, he... <laughs> he, for one, will not be faster than me, and two... I can recover from the Rocky Helmet because I have, uh, because I have leftovers. I'm, I'm gonna go for sub right here though. I wanna know if he can even break my sub right away. Yeah, he can't. Nope. Not happening. Um, so, I kinda just wanna wait till I'm like all the way. What am I at? Plus three? Might as well. Go for that plus four. He's not running out of liquidation anytime soon either. But I can sub again. Good to know he can't break my sub. I wish I had intimidated him. Okay, and he's gonna crit me. So, one does not do 25%, so that's good to know, I guess. He is wearing me down for sure. I have to go for a move soon. But then I'm going to take the Rocky Helmet. Actually, if I get him down to his emergency exit, then with this Waterfall, that would be nice. Because then I could knock out some Pokemon. Oh! Just what I needed. Cool. Now, here's the thing. He can double back out into this if he really wants to. But I... I don't know if I can 2-hit KO it, actually. I might die to Rocky Helmet. But he has to choose something to take damage here. And he might be thinking that 
Yeah, I haven't shown Ice Fang, so I can knock this out right off the bat. Gone. <laughs> oh yeah, and that's more lefties for me. My boy. So he's going out into this now. Um, I don't think I'll die to Rocky Helmet. So two waterfalls. Yeah, two waterfalls will knock him out. Jeez, it does so much. Yeah, that's a, that's a wrap on that. Oh, yeah, it's Aqua Jet, too. Wow, okay. So, Gyarados goes down. I guess it doesn't matter. He would have revenge killed me with Pinsir. Um, but I could have made that not happen. I feel like Mamoswine is a good Pokemon to go into here. But... Actually, hmm. Kind of had to go Mamoswine, because if he goes Greninja... Is that even the right play? I don't... I want to go Metagross, but I don't want him to get a kill. With Greninja. I don't even know if this thing is weak to ice, but I want to keep Mamoswine healthy, actually. Um... Hmm. I guess I'll go Hydreigon. Yeah, if he wants to go Greninja... I can try and knock him out with Draco Meteor. Greninja... I... Do I even knock him out from full? It's a roll. I'm gonna go for it though. As he's gonna double into Magnezone. That was a good play. Um, and I'm actually gonna go Mamoswine. He doesn't have a ground immunity. Unless he's Scarf Magnezone, he won't knock me out. But I think I'm willing to risk that now. Because this is a good play if I catch him on the wall switch. Yeah, he goes for Flash Cannon. I don't think he's Scarf. I haven't seen a Scarf Magnezone in forever. Yeah, so he has to bring in something to take this. And then... He would have to go for... Quick Attack here, wouldn't he? I think I'm going to go out into my Metagross because... He, um... Okay, I was actually afraid he was going to SD, but I don't think he could have afforded to there. Um, and I'm going to Meteor Mesh. My phone keeps going off. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, he can go... Okay. 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 I'm cool with this. Um, he is faster than me. Let's see. I think I want to go Magnezone here. Yeah. As he's going to U-turn. And he can basically revenge kill me now with something. Yeah, that was that was my safest option. I want to preserve what I can. Okay, he can just knock me out here. But I'm going to Volt Switch in case he doesn't. Just because I need a little initiative here. So Greninja came in and took that really big hit. Um, Grand, he could have priority, but it's at a point where Mimikyu might, mm, I don't know, might be able to knock him out. There's no way I knock this out with Metagross, do I? I mm, there's no way. I'm pretty sure this thing is bulky. Come on, oh, oh, oh. Do they run HP and such? I think I'd live a hit anyways. I'm gonna go into Metagross. And I'm actually going to click Meteor Mash first in case he wants to go Greninja. Oh, oh please. Yes, got him! Got him. Alright, so the threat is gone. I mean, I don't know about Como. -O. Pincer will get sketchy. I'm going for Zen Headbutt now. You don't have a psychic immunity. Yep, and we knock him out. Oh, it's looking GG ish. It's looking awfully GG ish. Yep, 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 yep. Um, we lived a hit from Pincer for sure, and yeah, knock it out from 65 most definitely. 
and then he just has Magnazone, which could not beat my three collectively, especially if he wasn't a Scarf, which I didn't think he was. Not bad. And you know what? Things are going well. I'm just going to leave it as is. I think I'll just end off the episode there. Uh, I have been saying that I've wanted shorter lives lately. We didn't get, like, we had a lot of forfeits, but it was also too, like, we played it to that point where they were going to lose. So, granted, it didn't get to complete the battle. We did get some battles in, and, you know, it, it, I'm not going to mess with a good thing, you know? We're winning, we're happy, we're chilling. So that was the team. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Uh, say bye to Mega Metagross. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna try not using it for a while because I mean, damn, look at how good it did. It was beautiful. And uh, yeah, until then you guys, I'm New Edge Still, keep on watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. <laughs>